Hey guys, this is Amy with Stick With The Plan. Today we're going to talk about how love is our most powerful weapon. Stay right here, I'll get right into it. So glad you're with me today. We're here on the farm. This is the same farm um, a couple of years ago that my husband Jay and I, we had taken our concealed license test on. And you know, we were out there and really the first time I had ever got to shoot. And I was shooting and I got 16 in the target, right in the gut and four in the head. So I was so happy and, and you know, my husband Jay was so proud of me and, and it was his turn to shoot. So he grabbed the gun and <laughs> went up to his place to shoot. And the first shot, you know, we looked, we, we couldn't find any evidence of where it went. But the second shot, nothing. The third shot, I was like thinking, wow, he's, he's a bad shot. And we looked around and uh, our friends, they were laughing. You know? So Jay spun around to see what they were laughing at. And they all, they all hit the ground. They were like, no, 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 the fourth one's live. They had put three blanks in there. <laughs> so just to make him upset, you know, especially because I had hit the target so well, <laughs> he was wondering what happened to his. Um, and I think sometimes we think that love is like that in our lives, that, you know, it's not uh, something mighty or strong that we can use, but it's like having a gun and, and shooting blanks. But it's not the case at all. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4 says the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they are mighty. Not carnal mean they're not of this world, but they're of a divine power for totally demolishing the strongholds of the enemy. Think how the enemy, how he uses people to bring heartache to this world, how, you know, it seems like it's, it really is just all in um, with a thought or he tries to get control of our minds or thinking. If he gets a hold of someone and deceives them, they can cause big trouble. I can think of this one time at church and, and I was the one that was uh, getting messed up and in, in my brain I was just, you know, not choosing love. And uh, we were at a Sunday morning church service and when I walked in, I noticed, you know, and this was several years ago. so. Um, the communion wasn't ready yet. You know, the teams were still working to get communion ready. And then during the service, I just noticed, you know, the usher team wasn't on point. You know, our baptism, like it was time to baptize people and the cover was still on. And, uh, you know, I remember helping getting that cover off. And, and once we baptize someone, you know, usually there's people to help them out. And, and I'm having to pull everybody up out of the water. <laughs> and so I'm thinking, where is everybody today? So, you know, I thought Pastor Jay's gonna be mad at me. So I was like, I need to go talk to the head usher. I mean, this cannot happen again. And I'm all worked up and all tore up about it. And I just think I'm going to have this confrontation. And as soon as I find, you know, our head usher, he has a big smile on his face. And he just looked at me and said, man, that is a beautiful outfit. And I went, oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> it totally diffused me because he chose kindness, you know, because he chose to walk in love. You know, all that anger and frustration and, you know, really whatever the devil was trying to work over in my mind causing a bigger trouble or a bigger problem than there was. You know, that kindness totally diffused it. And that's what we do when we choose to walk in love. In the book of Proverbs in chapter 10 and verse 12, it says that hate stirs up conflict, but love covers all. And you can feel that if you read like a hateful tweet or see a post that's really ugly. You know, you just think it stirs up hate in you, whether you agree with it or you disagree. You know, it makes something angry come out of you or, or you want to say something bad. You know, anybody who's a coward or, or you know, not strong on the inside can pick up any kind of weapon and use it, pick up any hateful sign. But it's going to take someone developed in the love of God to not have to reach to something carnal or of this world, but to have a strong character that can choose love to diffuse the situation, to kill them with kindness, to walk in love. That's going to help us stick with the plans that God has for us. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching today. Just appreciate all of your likes, your love, your comments, your testimonies, especially your shares. What a blessing to us to get to share this with more and more people. If you're on YouTube, make sure that you um, subscribe to our channel. You can leave us a comment. If you're on Facebook, like our page because every Thursday we have a brand new video. I'll see you again next week.